Hi everybody and welcome back to SciArt Shop Channel. Okay guys, this particular tutorial is all about um, a fake donut and making a fake topper. Um, so without further ado, let me show you how you do that. Now, um, I'm just going to bring it across as it is and uh, basically um, I'm going to show you how to um, do this. And um, what we've got is our fake donut and then we've got our fake chocolate chips. Now, if you don't know how to make those, um, check out my tutorial on the fake donut with the chocolate sauce and fake chocolate chips because I show you on that tutorial how to make these. And on this one, I will show you how to make these stars. Now, um, I've, I've Obviously, this would be chocolate chips in real life, and these stars would be fondant, fondant icing, if they were actually um, edible on a real donut. But um, I'm using polymer clay uh, for the chocolate chips and for the stars, um, but uh, it's supposed to look like um, fondant icing. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let me show you how you actually make the stars. Okay. Now what you need to do is you, I've got some polymer clay here and all you do is you just knead it until it's soft and then what you need to do is flatten it out and then get your cutter. Now these are the same cutters you use for um, fondant icing when you're making cakes and that sort of thing. Now um, once you've used these cutters for um, non-food um items like polymer clay, you can't use them again for um, food. So uh, if you're like me, I, I make um, fondant icing um, sculptures. Um, so I've got a set of these um, for that and a set for this. So if they're for crafts, use them always for crafts. And if you've got them for your cakes and things like that, for, for edible, uh, for food things, then use them for that. So don't um, cross don't use this like I'm going to use this for that for the um, polymer clay you can't use that for food as well you have to use it for one or the other so uh, just a little side tip there because of the uh, you know obviously you might have clay and bits and pieces in here and you don't want that going into your uh, food stuff so uh, yeah you have to keep it separately so anyway so you've got your um polymer clay and you've got your stamp that's only used for clay remember and uh, basically you just stamp it in there and pop it out now sometimes polymer clay can be a bit sticky like this one is and um, you just need to play around with it and get it how you want it to look uh, now I won't do that today I just wanted to show you how you do it so um, you make the shape whatever it is mine stars uh, and then depending on the brand of polymer clay you have bought, um, then you just bake it in your oven and um, to the manu manufacturer's instructions and then you will have your um, fake star, fondant star. Okay, so that's basically how you do that. So it's very easy. Um, so let me just move that out the way a moment and show you again where we're going with this. Um, so there, these have been baked. This is a bigger star than that one and uh, see it's gone completely hard so that that's polymer clay um to look like fondant icing okay so there we go so that's what we're going to do now you're probably saying simon how are you going to stick that on well i'm going to try this now this is a um 3d doodle paint and i've used this before it's a thicker paint and what i'm going to do is uh, pretend this is um like royal icing um, so thicker icing and uh, what I will think I will do is um, stick them on with this. So basically lift them all up, put a bit of, of, um, of this pretend uh, icing on there and just stick it down like so. Now um, we'll see if this works. Okay guys, so I'm just going to take those off and uh, try to do that. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So you need to... See how thick that is? See, just mix a little ball. So all you do is that and then stick it on with that. And then it will, you will see it like that, which looks like, so it's a fondant star that looks like it's been pushed into um, 
some sort of royal icing, that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to carry on. Now, um, I just need to place those back on there just to get my spacings correct. Okay, that one's a bit rough there, but uh, we'll go with it because it would be like that in real life. Okay, um, shall I have it run that way or that way? That way, I think. Okay, so this particular one I'm going to put there. So get my 3D paint and uh, pop it down like that. And again, this is going to come out. Oh, you might have run out, you know, guys. This is all live, isn't it? So let me just shake the bottle. Okay, have we got enough? Oh, yeah, there's some there. So hopefully we've got enough for this. Pop it down like that. Okay, so I'm happy so far. Now I'm going to do the middle one here next. And, and again, we seem to be running out. No, it needs a little shake, I think. So pop that on like so. And another one there. Oh, and I smushed that, but not to worry, because that's how it goes sometimes. And another one there. Ooh, there. Okay. Now, does that look really good? So it does look like fondant icing starts with some sort of icing underneath, runny icing. Now I'm going to do the same with the with the fake chocolate chips. So let me just where shall I put them? I had them there, but I might put them sort of more at the edge. Okay. So let me just do that. Put that on there. Another one there. We're liking this one. Doesn't it look good, guys? And there. Another one there. Ooh, splattered them up. Not a problem. And hopefully I've got enough of this 3D doodle paint to uh, finish this off. And one more, I think I have. Success, guys. Okay. So there you go. So that will all dry um, within a couple of days easily and uh, it will still s stay thick like that. It isn't like a normal acrylic paint because it is a 3D doodle paint. Okay. And there's all different colors you can get. And uh, let me just show you another one. This is like a, uh, another brand, but this is um, obviously brown and that one's red. Now use the brown for chocolate. And this one for strawberry sauce. So sometimes I go like that and make that sort of effect um, with those. But I'm not going to do that on this particular one because that's enough, I think. And uh, the other thing I will do with this one is I will probably make the um, stars shiny. In fact, I will make them shiny um, because that's how it looks on when you um, spray spray shellac on uh, fondant icing and I just need to get a little brush and I will show you how to do that. Okay, now, uh, there we go. So I'm just going to use a bit of this. This is oil colour medium, gloss varnish. So I'm just going to use a brush and I'm just going to carefully gloss those up. So I'm just going to do that now. Now this is for oil colored medium so you're probably saying well Simon that this isn't what you're using but no that's correct it isn't but I'm using this because I've got loads of it and uh, I use it on loads of different projects and uh, there isn't a an issue with it oops um, if you just need to be careful with this you can see that glistening guys so yeah I just use it uh, sometimes on projects like this just to give this shiny effect and I find it even though it's foil paints it does work on uh, polymer clay like this okay so a little bit more there uh, you can get gloss polymer clay as well so it's a proper polymer clay especially for polymer clay funnily enough um, but I haven't got any at the moment so I'm not going to use it. Well, I can't because I haven't got it. Um, but yes, so there you go. 
just wanted to let you know see how that how that's glistening guys let me just finish this off and i'll pick it up this luxury donut and show you how we're going with this i suppose i could always put a, just a little bit on the top of those just to make that glisten just a little bit just a little bit like that okay so that's it that one's completed so there's another tutorial on how to make a luxury topper so yeah so there you go so it is um chocolate chips with um fondant icing stars and we're using some sort of you know white icing royal icing to stick it all on um but in reality it's polymer clay 3d doodle paint and we've got an air dry clay uh, fake donut okay so hopefully guys you like this one as much as i do i think it looks really cute um so thanks for watching like share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next tutorial thanks for watching